The eyes of the angels everywhere upon many men That deserve your mercy, but I don't deserve your mercy again No, keep it kosher, we living how we supposed to Every Sabbath on the block What do you think about the, the, the rape, robbing, destruction so far black in this attitude? That's a good thing. No. How do you think God feel about it? I think God is punishing America for slavery. Okay. Okay. Well, hustle. I ain't gonna lie. In my eight years, the first person to say that. I ain't no joke. I've been thinking about it recently. Yeah, that like uh, a lot of the kind of like suffering and discord we're seeing now is like actually like revolving all about revolving. Let me show you some two scriptures, two scriptures. Because what you said is accurate. Let me get 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6 first. Because God is judging America right now when you look at the economy. It said the debt, the debt, the debt ceiling went up to almost 34 trillion last week, right? All of these things are happening in Putin right now. Trying to rebuild the USSR. All these things are biblical prophecies coming to pass. I don't even believe anybody. Right now, a lot of people are doing podcasts and streams saying, yo, these things are coming out of the Bible. Like a Netflix series right now. Right? Go ahead and read it. One and the book of Second Thessalonians, chapter one, verse six. Go ahead. See, it is a righteous thing of God uh -huh. to recompense tribulation so God to them that trouble you. Read it again. See, it is a righteous thing of God. It's a righteous thing. Righteousness is a good thing, right? Yeah. Good thing with God. To what? To recompense tribulation. To recompense who? Tribulation. To recompense tribulation. Read to them that trouble you. To them that trouble you. Trouble to the truth. That's right, right? So who trouble them? righteous God. He's a fair God. Right? Nobody has been able to stand up and give people the proper justice they deserve. Right? Because they're, they're just saying this is what bugged out their mind because of this. The cost of the damn gun. Right? The only thing also is that will be kind of given to them It could seem right to, to give an eye for an eye, but uh, it wouldn't be the righteous thing to do, right? Uh, to seek our own right. I agree with you. Go ahead. I gotta right. go in a second. Well, let me get this two scriptures, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna go with this. Go ahead. Isaiah 14, verse 21. Go ahead. Prepare slaughter. So God is right. Somebody gotta pay for it. You're right. There is vengeance that belongs to God. But God is gonna execute his judgment through the hands of, he is usually his nation. Yeah. When he needed to judge Babylon, who did he use? Persia. When he needed to judge Persia, who he used? The Greeks. God used nations to judge nations. Go ahead. Prepare slaughter for his children. The Lord will say, prepare what? Prepare slaughter for his children. Prepare slaughter and destruction yeah. for his descendants. You're the descendants of these people that have art for He said, prepare slaughter for you and your descendants. You're right. So let's, let's get, let me finish off that point, that other point you okay. said. Because God is going to do that judgment. So go ahead. Ezekiel 25, 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, uh -huh. I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom. Upon Edom, you're descendant of the Edomites. Right? When you're in Esau, Edom, Basra, let's talk about you. 
The Greeks and the Romans, you, go ahead. And we'll cut off men and beasts from it. You don't cut off the blood, the blood, the blood line in the kingdom, go ahead. And I will make it desolate from Timan, and the dead shall fall by the sword. Go ahead. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. By what? By the hand of my people Israel. 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 Transgresses God's law. Go ahead. For sin is a transgression of the law. Be because sin is breaking God's commandments. Right. Now, who was the commandments of God given to? Because those are the only people that can sin. Well, I believe I, I believe that um, the Christ, uh, God's law is given to everybody. Where did Christ? Where did Christ indicate that the laws of God was given to everybody? When did uh, Christ in, say in, that? In Romans, he says there's neither. No, no, that was very sorry. specific. When did Christ say that? When did Christ open God's law, statute, commandments to all nations upon earth? When did Christ say that? It got to be red letter. That's what Christ is speaking. Oh, okay. When did Christ? Yeah. Uh, I think it's, it's uh, you can derive it from the Old Testament. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
There is not a bond no free. So stop. So Price is talking to the to who? To you and all. Uh, I mean, uh, Paul. Paul's talking to who? Uh, and well, what's the ethnic background of the Galatians? Uh, not what's, what am I mentioning? Uh, no, I'm making it. You don't know? Yeah, yeah. So Paul's address. Actually, we're going to find out who he's addressing. Now, before I go there, right? Are you a Greek? No. Are you a Jew? Uh, so what does that have to do with you? There's, there's, no, there's no distinction between Jew and uh, Gentile. Because specifically you say Greek and Jew. You're neither one. What does that have to do with you? Go ahead. There is not a male nor female, uh -huh. for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. Uh -huh, which I agree. Go ahead. And if ye be Christ, uh -huh. then are ye Abraham's seed? So let's stop. Now, when Paul was writing this letter, because the letter he wrote to the Galatians was a letter. It wasn't in book, chapter, and verse, correct? It wasn't. We, we compiled it when it, after it was translated. Right. So all we have to do to understand what he's addressing to is continue the letter. I Let's go to Galatians chapter 4, start from verse 5. Right. Let's continue the letter. Galatians chapter 4 and verse 5. I already know the precepts I'm about to go to in that, in that verse. Go ahead. To redeem them. Start from verse 4. Verse 4. Go ahead. But when the fullness of the time was come. Uh-huh. He's talking to the Galatians. Read. God sent forth his son. He sent his son. Read. Made of a woman. Go ahead. Made under the law. Go ahead. To redeem them Go ahead. that were under the law. To redeem them that were what? Under the law. So he's talking to the Galatians. He said, oh, Christ came to redeem them that were under the law. Yes. So who were the people that were under the law? They were that like that one. Uh, yeah. No, no, I'm actually. Who were under the law? To redeem them. Christ came to save. The was the Israelites, right? So is Go ahead. Purely... This more, this more, this more. Go ahead. Uh, that we might receive the adoption. That we what did he say? That we. What did he say? That we. We. Right? So to them and the Gentile, the, 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 the Galatians. Read. Might receive the adoption the what? of sons. The what? The adoption of sons. The adoptions of sons. Who would adoption, who is the adoption given to? It was exclusive. It was exclusive. We read the Romans 9. In the second. Exclusively it was given to the Israelites. So the Galatians were our process of elimination will have to be what? So Paul is addressing Israelites. Go ahead. I guess my question is, do you believe that that is a, um, is it purely a bloodline to you in a worldly sense? Is it purely genetic or, or is it, meaning like for the chosen people, for the Israelites, is it purely wise, purely bloodline, genetic, or is it a spiritual thing? Is it, is it, uh, can it be extended to anybody? Can anybody uh, become a, a son of God? Anybody become a son of God? No. It has to be, you have to be just a blood descendant of the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In Romans, the ninth chapter, he expresses that. Do you, you believe it was very important? Well, let me ask you something, right? Yeah. In according to Matthew 4, we live by every word of the, of the of every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. One of my things with Christianity, and I'm not saying you're a Christian, I don't know, is that they don't go to the word of God in Christ's mouth to show where this happened. Because well, who, who did Christ die for? <laughs> who did he die for? Uh, I would say he died for all of mankind. All of mankind? Yeah. Is that according to the Bible? Yeah. Um, and you may, like you said, you may be ignorant to it, I don't know. Right? So we should be trying to get the answer. So this, this, this is, did he die for everybody? This is my faith, uh, based upon what I've heard in the Bible. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is what I was. Yeah. Because remember, yeah. when Christ left, who did he even charge? Uh, the disciples. Yeah, the disciples. Who's, the disciples who, who he made the rock of the church? Peter. Peter. Like the disciples would understand why Christ came, what was his doctrine, and teach what he taught. Because he opened up their understandings before he left. Okay. Let's get Acts 5.29. Let's get Acts 5.29. Look at Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Go ahead. Then Peter. Get Acts the, 13. You know what I want. Go ahead. And the other apostles answered and said, Go ahead. We ought to obey God rather than men. Do you agree with that? Of course. Go ahead. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus. Raised up who? Raised up Jesus. Go ahead. Whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Which he, which he was killed. Right, go ahead. Him have God exalted with his right hand. Go ahead. To be a prince. To be a what? To be a prince. To be a who? To, to be, be a prince. prince. To be a prince and a what? And a savior. And a savior to save. Read. For to give repentance. And to give repentance. Go ahead. To Israel. To who? To, to Israel. Israel. To what? To Israel. Which nation? To Israel. Does it say spiritual? To Israel. Does it say metaphorical? To Israel. To Israel. 
This is all this comes from exclusively to the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, everybody. The so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. Whom the so called European nation of people raped, robbed, and murdered in the Americas. This is why, when you even said it, when you came up here, this is why America is being judged. Because Christ came and his blood was shed right. for these people. And your people mercil 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 mercilessly murdered, raped, robbed, and destroyed these people. Why did you say because aren't you a are you a descendant of so-called Caucasian people? Well, I say your oh, people, people. They're, aren't they the same? Aren't they the same Caucasians? Aren't they? What's the hope for uh, uh, non-Israelites? What's the hope? In your view, I mean, uh, well, I, I, how are they viewed by non-Israelites? Is there any way they can do that? Well, well, let's let's see this. First, let me get Hebrews twelve. You know what I want, right? Because we're gonna answer that question. Are you correct? And you said, what's the hope for non-Israelites? Yeah, is there any means for them to repent and be made right? Well, remember, to repent, to, re to repent is to what? To ask for forgiveness for your what? For your, for your sins. sins. And what's your sins? Yeah. Breaking of God's commandments. Yeah. You were never given God's commandments, so how can you repent and you were given God's commandments? But let's get Hebrews 12. You got that? Let me get Revelation 13 and 9. So there is a, a prophecy in the scripture that talks, there's a lot of prophecies. Let's talk about the non-Israelites. What's going to happen? Let's look at Hebrews 12 and 16. Hebrews 12 and 16. Go ahead. Is to be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. As Esau, Edom, right? Go ahead. Who for one morsel of meat saw this birthright. Right, let's right. talk about your progenitor. Go ahead. For you know how that afterward, uh -huh. when he would have inherited the blessing, uh -huh. he was rejected. Uh -huh. For he found no place of repentance. No so repentance. Yeah. Yeah. What is that role in the church? Let me get Revelations uh, 13 and 9. Give me Isaiah 14 and 1. We're going to get the prophecies. Right? The book of Revelations, chapter 13, verse 9. Go ahead. If any man have an ear, let him hear. You have ears, that means to understand. Go ahead. Yeah. He that leadeth into captivity. Then your ancestors lead us to slavery, right? Not you. My you direct ancestors. Your answer, well, I'm your ancestors. I'm talking about as a nation. Okay. All right? As a nation of people. You're, you as a nation of people had us in slavery. I mean, hardcore slavery. Slave ships. He went through that. Go ahead. He that led him into captivity, he that led him into captivity, you led us into captivity, should what? Shall go into captivity. What did the Bible say? Shall go into captivity. According to the scriptures, you're going to have to go through what we went through. You're going to have to go into service to this earth to understand how it feels what you did to the children of God. That's justice, though, at the end of the day. Nothing more, nothing less, according to the will of God. Go ahead. He that killeth with the sword, killed us with the sword, go ahead. Must be killed with the sword. This is the words of Christ. Now let's get it in, the, in Isaiah. Isaiah, the part of prophecy. Isaiah, Isaiah 14. chapter 14, verse 1. Uh -huh. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Upon Jacob. On, in, on Israel, go ahead. And will yet choose Israel. And yet choose Israel, go ahead. And set them in their own land. Uh -huh. And the strangers shall be joined with them. The strangers, which is young. The heathen, the honest ones, go ahead. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. You're going to cleave unto us, Greek. And the people shall take them. We're going to do what? And the people so shall take them. We're going to take you. Go ahead. And bring them to their place. You're going to come with us. And what? And the house of Israel ah, shall possess them. We're gonna do what? And the house so of Israel, Israel shall, shall possess them. What does it mean when you possess somebody else? Uh, yeah, ownership. You have ownership over you. That's what that's gonna take. The other nations. We have ownership over you. Go ahead. In the land of the Lord, uh -huh. for service. For what? For, for service. service. For who? For service. No, for business. For, for service. For CEO. For, for service. Police. For, for service. service. Uh, Elon Musk. For, for service. service. Go ahead. And handmaids. And that's gonna be your, your position. This has not come to pass. If a heathen, pretty heathen, it wouldn't be possible for them to live an upright life, to live a righteous life. What does it mean to be righteous? To follow the laws of God. To... Were you given the laws of God? What? Well, so something. Were you given the laws of God? I think everybody, everybody has. Yes, Were you given the laws of God? I think I was. Yeah, I think I'm under that. Best thing you can do is you know, accept what God said. Because it's not gonna be our vision, it's gonna be the Lord's vision at the end of the day. It's not about us, right. it's about God's will being accomplished. You got Leviticus 26 46? What we got that get that quick for? Leviticus 26 46. Go ahead. These are the statutes and judgments uh -huh. and laws Go ahead. which the Lord made between him. Between who? Between, between him. Between who? Between, between him. him. Between him and who? And the children of Israel. And the descendants of the children of Israel. So 
the only thing that the Lord said is that you have to do the captain. Because God's design was for us to reign the earth and you follow the rules and regulations of God under us. That was the design from the beginning. There's nothing wrong with that. That's God's will. What you got? The book of Second Edges, chapter 3 and verse 36. Matter of fact, let's get out of the word of God. Go ahead. Thou shalt find that Israel uh -huh. by name have kept thy precepts. By who? Thou shalt find that Israel by name. By what? By thy name. name. By who? By, by name. name. By what? By, by name. name. By name. Did what? Have kept thy precepts. Only, Israel, only the Israelites did. There's no verse saying God gave any other nation upon the earth the law, statute, commandments. Thus you cannot repent. You were given it. Thus you cannot be righteous because you were not given it. God gave it to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and to give to the 12 sons. And we are the descendants of those 12 sons. Angels everywhere upon many men. That deserve your mercy, but I don't deserve your mercy again. No, keep it kosher, we live in how we supposed to. Every Sabbath on the block, we will be posted. Is a required sign, but you won't show it, no. This the generation of faith, and we just know it, yeah.